Hi, welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. It's been a while since we did a tool review, so today I'm going to do one on a tool that I have actually been using for a couple of years. It seemed to be of decent value, and I figured I would share my thoughts about it. And that tool is the Extreme Power 2200 Watt Demolition Hammer that I purchased from Amazon way back in 2016. Obviously, I won't be doing an unboxing, but there's so many other videos that show just that. In this video, we have a whole stack of concrete slabs that I'll be breaking down and recycling. The brand name of this tool was changed from Stark as I bought it to Extreme Power. But as you can see, it's still the same tool, with a different name. I still call mine Stark though, because to me it just looks more like a Stark, don't you think so? I'll be sure to put the Amazon links in the description below. The tool comes in a convenient carrying case, which you can see that it only goes in one way. And it's never the first way that you try. Mother Being that it's my tool and I can do what I want with my tools, I made some reference marks to ease this process. This definitely makes it a hell of a lot easier to get lined up in the case. The tool comes with two bits, one chisel and one pointed. Today we'll be using the pointed. Aside from that, there's a couple Allen wrenches, a sight glass wrench, an oil bottle, some PPE consisting of glasses, gloves, and a dust mask. There's also a spare set of brushes which I've never had to use yet. There's an oil sight glass on the side which mine came filled with oil. The oil should be midpoint on the glass with the unit standing upright. If you need to top the oil off, they're calling for 15 or 20 W40 diesel motor oil. Let me show you one of my erections. Now, don't get too excited, it's just a retaining wall that I'm building. And I can't show too much because it's going to be the star of an upcoming video. And I don't want to spoil it in this review. It's called a gabion wall and I'll be using this rubble that we are about to produce to fill this wall, at least until I run out. Alright, let's break up some concrete. As you can see, this is being done in late fall, in Pennsylvania, and under stupid daylight savings time, so there's a lot of this footage that's going to be filmed in the dark, working under spotlights. As you can see, this thing breaks up the concrete rather quickly. It took a while to learn how far back from the edge to place the point, but it didn't take long to become a pro. I found that if it doesn't fracture the concrete in 10 to 15 seconds, move the point to another location. Now one thing I bought for this demolition hammer that I didn't get to demonstrate is this clay spade. If you would like to see a video, mention it in the comments below and I'll try to do some kind of a demonstration on it. You can see this thing's made out of like half inch plate. I think it cost around 30 bucks. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description if you are interested. Clicking the Amazon link definitely helps this channel grow. Out of all of these slabs that I broke up, there was just one which had reinforcement wire. Just simply using some side cutters, it really didn't delay things very much. In my opinion, the Extreme Power US 2200 Watt Heavy Duty Electric Demolition Hammer is great value considering what you get and what it does for a price point of under 200 bucks. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, consider subscribing if you're not already, and check out some of my binge-worthy playlists. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation, and I'll see you next time.